All right, theme one for day one later tonight. We built it. That's the campaign theme down here in Tampa. So look to see that slogan throughout the night later tonight. How will Republicans relate to that theme? Senator John Barrasso out of Wyoming with me now. Nice to see you. We've you. talked about a lot of things over the past couple of years, debt and spending, health care. They've all been big issues. But I don't think you ever get humidity like this in Wyoming, do you? It's, it's something. <laughs> it's, uh... I mean, you could take a knife and it wouldn't have to be a sharp no, knife. No, as a surgeon, <laughs> right, right, don't blame. You're a doctor, too. That's right. What about the theme that will react to the following quote from Virginia two weeks ago? Roll this. If you've got a business... That, you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. Oh, I know what it says. Now, how have Republicans taken that comment and used it? I will tell you, I was at a Centennial Ranch celebration in Wyoming. Families that have been in the business for 100 years, four generations, great award ceremony. These are families who have withstood floods, drought, a Great Depression, and a government that claims to be there to help them, they have never been so insulted in their lives. Those are the people that built those farms. Those are the people that built those ranches. But whether it's that, whether it's a dry cleaner, a florist, a, a, a car wash operator, I think this is an insult to every hard-working American, any small business owner across this country. Now, you think there, this election's about numbers. And you were quoted just this past week when you travel around $16 trillion national debt, numbers of workers without jobs, and the amount of money taken out of Medicare. Now, that argument has gone back and forth, and it's been debated. How can you convince Americans about all of these issues right now? Well, the American people know that this country was built on a, a combination of opportunity and then ambition and, and innovation and overcoming obstacles. And the president is completely out of touch with that uh, a vision of America that I think people in all the communities ac across the country well, have. To your point, then, there's this poll from the L.A. Times. Seventy-two percent say economic record under President Obama is a key factor in their vote. And the president has failed on jobs, on the economy, on the debt, on the spending. We've had over 40 months of unemployment of over 8% bill. People want to get back to work. We have 23 million Americans who are either unemployed or underemployed. Uh, it is a huge factor, and only one-third of Americans think the country is heading in the right direction. And a, a national perspective, a historical perspective on this. When you look at key elections that have changed the course of America, put a party in that was there, uh, kicked them out of party, or at a power rally. Um, when you think about the economy, what is the measure of impact that the economy has on an individual vote? Well, I think it's a major thing into whether that person uh, is working, has work, and, and, and those people that are looking for work or have work. The economy is a huge impact. People, even those who are fortunate enough to have jobs, are earning uh, about $4,000 less now than they were when President Obama came into office. Plus, the price of gasoline is continuing to go up. People are understanding the pain at the pump. They realize that the quality of their life under this president is worse, not better. Well, that's where it all goes down in the arena behind us. What is your sense on Friday? How do Republicans come out of Tampa? Well, I think we come out united. I mean, you win by a coalition of people who all agree on the, on the major issues. And the major issues are jobs, the economy, debt, and spending. And it's a responsible government. And what we have with this president is a government that continues to be more expensive and less effective. Senator, thank you. We'll see you inside, OK? John Barras out of Wyoming. Thanks for having me. We have a breeze now. <laughs> Does that make it any better? I'd rather be in Wyoming. I'm sure you would, but now it's Tampa. Night one tonight. Martha, back inside. Boy, you. it is.